important is it to have a teacher? By Ajahn Chaya Saro. The ideal conditions for spiritual progress are experienced by those living in a community led by an enlightened teacher. But Few people, including monastics, are given such an opportunity. Receiving instructions from a qualified teacher, taking them a way to put them into practice and then meeting with the teacher every now and again to relate progress and to receive advice and encouragement is both a workable and beneficial approach the ability of the teacher to point out weak areas, blind spots, and the student's tendency to get sidetracked means that regular contact with him or her is truly valuable. Occasional periods of retreat with the teacher tend to be especially fruitful. Another approach is to take advantage of the multitude of teachings on meditation now available through the various media. Reliable information may be found in books and DVDs and on the internet. In Thailand, many Dhamma programs are broadcast on radio and television. This can be a great opportunity, but at the same time can encourage superficiality. Some people end up sampling a number of different techniques 
without making the necessary commitment to anyone in particular. Progress in meditation requires taking one method as a vehicle and applying it consistently over a long period of time. <laughs>